Hello, lazy retired granny here. It is Tuesday, August. I don't know what day it is. Um, well, it's Tuesday, mid August. Um, so now we are venturing on with Walona. Wilbur's girlfriend. I'm hoping that we complete her today. And need my light. Yeah, the lighting here is giving me fits this morning because it's, I think what it is, is the, um, it's so hazy outside. All right, so we're doing J's. We got lots of J's to do. So I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. Well, I was, I did, we finished up smiley faces or the expressions and while it was uploading I went downstairs and was diamond painting away I had just finished one <laughs> the one video that I was watching of Mike that he put on a couple days ago. So I wanted to finish that up. And so it finished. And then I checked the video and it was done uploading. And so I got it up. Then I got coffee and I wanted to warm it up in the microwave. And I had my AC going. Now, in my place, the electrical wiring is really strange how they set it up. So on one or two walls, it is less wattage or something. So it's more for lights and TV. Then on the other wall is for the electrical appliances, the mic, um, well they put in a microwave that doesn't work, so I don't use it. So I use my little microwave. And I hope I can explain this. Um, but anyway, yeah, the stove, the refrigerator, um, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of wattage. Well, I thought where I had my AC plugged in, that was on that electric, you know, the powerful electrical current. And I found out that it's not that so when I use my microwave and I have the AC going it you know turns the electricity off and I don't know why I didn't change putting the uh, air conditioning over on <clears throat> that other wall, but I didn't. I, I don't know, my brain doesn't work sometimes. Well, I had the AC going and it, yeah, it flipped it when I turned on the microwave. So, my electrical box is in David's 
unit where he lives. He's asleep, so I can't go flip the switch. And so I have no power where I do my diamond painting because that all, you know, went down. So, anyway, um, and my microwave doesn't work now because it's on that same thing. So now that I know that, so I changed where my mic, my um, air conditioner is plugged in at. So I got the air conditioning going, but. Um, my lights, I have to wait till David's awake and then go flip that switch, which will be early this morning because he has to go to Portland. So I thought, well, I can't diamond paint. I have no lights over there. So I'll just go do another video. Yeah, I don't know why they could not wire it so that you have, you know, big power everywhere. Or, you know, the wattage, I don't know. I don't know anything about electricity, so. So now when I go back downstairs, I think what I'm gonna do I might have to move my microwave too because I didn't I don't know it just popped in my head oh I need to change that so I'm gonna have to figure out where Maybe I can put my microwave. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't know. Let's we'll see. Too much for my brain right now. I just went to get the AC a going because it was getting. I came up here, and even though I had the AC going earlier, and then I turned it off to go downstairs, it was already warm in here. It's not moving. We're not getting any, there's no breeze at all out there. And with the smoke and the clouds right now, just heaviness. And our air quality right now is poor. in this session we can get all the J's done. There's a ton of them, so you know I actually need to once again I have too many drills in this tray. here and fill in this part first. So I was watching Mike's video. Now I'm not for sure when he <clears throat> recorded the video, but he was saying that I 
think he's going to be doing the cat. All right, today's Tuesday. So he's going to be doing the cat Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And then on Wednesday, he's doing an unboxing. So I think that's tomorrow. And then Saturday, he's going to work on his summer theme. And I can't remember what canvas that is. And then Sunday, he's doing a live. And I don't know if that's going to be Wilbur or his chicken. And he said, but he lost some drills to his chicken. So it may depend on whether he finds those drills, whether he does chicken or he does Wilbur. But then I thought he changed his mind and was going to do Wilbur on, or yeah, Wilbur on Sunday. So I'm not really for sure, but he's doing a live. It'll either be Wilbur or it'll be the chicken. And that chicken is cute. So, if you have a chance, check out his live on Sunday. And sometimes he posts when he's going to be doing it. But remember, he is in the United Kingdom. So, you do. If you've got your notifications on, it should tell you in your time what time it's um, going to be. So for me, on my time, it'll be like 6 in the morning. But like for DP Crazy Lady, it'll be, oh, we're doing the J's, not the T. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Because um, she's three hours ahead of me, so it'll be nine o'clock her time. I'm looking for J's. You know, when he has his live, that's a good time to ask him questions or give him something to talk about. So that's as far as I've gotten. It wasn't my plan of action this morning, but. Megan is over there chewing on the bone. Keeps him occupied. He loves those.
Yeah, the kitty that Mike's doing right now is one of those multicolored canvases. Kitty with a butterfly. It's really cute. I think I got all the J's up there in that part. All right, now we're gonna move down here. And I'm sure there's some that I miss. All right, let's do this section. Also in Mike's video now now remember he's in the UK so they have some of their terminology is different than ours here but he was mentioning that I think he said it was Australia um, he was ordering something and <laughs> he couldn't find it um, on, I, I don't know where he was at, I, um, but anyway, in Australia, the word is tongs. I think that's what he said, but in the UK, they're sliders. Here, we call them flip-flops. <laughs> But we used to call them thongs. They don't use that term anymore for flip-flops. So I wonder if that's what they still use, if that's what he was saying for Australia. Rather, I thought he said tongs, but, so I'm not really for sure. But yeah, it's just interesting the different wordings that we use different things. I've picked up a few differences from watching my British shows. <clears throat> and I'm sure if you have, if you watch British shows or UK shows or whatever over there, um, you notice that too if you have like Acorn TV or BritBox. Usually I can figure out what they're talking about. If they use a term that's like, what? <laughs> I'll just, you know, look it up on Google, but. I'm finishing Wilbur's girlfriend today, but we'll see. We'll see how the day goes. my best laid plans go awry. <laughs> awry, whatever it is. <laughs>
Maybe with all the smoke in the air, it'll keep the bees away. Megan. Hey guys, what's going on? Huh? What's going on over there? A little pop belly. Yeah, I'm a pop belly pig. <laughs> That's what he reminds me of. He is solid. remember what kind of dog he is. He's some kind of pet, but um, like a bully, bully pit. I think that's what he is. It's super sweet. Oh my goodness. And spoiled, of course. Ellie's mama was a hundred percent American, I forget, it's a pit bull, but not, <clears throat> she was the smaller, thinner one, um, I wish I could think of it, but I can't right offhand. Um, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, too. And then when I had the DNA on Ellie, I'll have to look it up. But anyway, the vet said um, when he first saw Ellie, the new vet, well, she had one vet. She started with one vet. Um, which was recommended through the, um, we were dealing with pet rescue places, or not rescue, but you know, people that take in pets and then they foster them out and then, um, then find homes for him. I guess that could be. Anyway, the lady there told me um, they were going to be taking some of the puppies and they went through this one vet that was new in town and as long as I took the puppies there, they would pay for the vet bills. So they, because they had to be um, checked out by a vet, that they were healthy and all that. And then they um, had to be dewormed and their shots started. And so it was like but it was only for the puppies that they were going to be take, taken in. And then whoever was taking puppies that we had given to, they could get actually a discount um, through um, if they went to that vet, which nobody did. Um, because they didn't live in the area. So they, and they already had their own vet. So, um, anyway, since I was keeping Ellie 
and we had mama the and I was actually fostering those puppies that they were gonna take um, Ellie and mama got a big huge discount for their um, getting spayed and then I was gonna go through that vet For Ellie rather than our old vet and they had a puppy plan which um, also included um, shots and all that because I would be responsible for that because I was keeping Ellie so anyway I purchased the pet plan And she was spayed there, and um, she got her shots there. And then they found out that she had some issues with her eyes, and so I had to take her to Portland for surgery. And um, then her ear infection started and whatnot. Well, we were at the vet's office, Ellie was, yeah. I mean, at least twice a week with issues. And um, so I had purchased the puppy plan, which was kind of expensive. Well, I went to take her in she was probably well I think she was a year old no she wasn't quite a year old and anyway I took her in for something and he goes okay that's going to be blah 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 amount and I said what? I said, no, 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 it's just an office visit and we're on the puppy plan. And he said, now keep in mind, they're new and they did not have, all they had was wrote down what it covered. And they did not give me a copy of the puppy plan. And I guess I didn't think anything of it at the time. They didn't have copies or whatever. And I just I guess I just forgot about it. And I said, no, 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 no. She had she's on the puppy plan. There's no charge, you know, for this office visit. And he goes, Oh, the puppy plan is only for six months. And then we don't have any other pet plants. It's only for puppies. And of course, I said, no, that's not what I told you told me. It was good for a year. And he argued with me. Of course, I didn't have any documentation. And so I went back to our old vet and got her um, plan there which was actually cheaper and included more so she's been there ever since <clears throat> So I really, really liked the vet at the new place. She was really nice. But they're actually have grown to be huge and they're not even taking new patients um, and haven't been for quite a few years.
Yeah, their business just exploded. But they're pretty... Um, yeah, and it's, I don't know about their pricing because, and, and they may have pet plans now, I don't know, but yeah, the fellow that, there was two of them that started that, and one was, you know, the vet, and the other one was the manager type thing and yeah so and it, I was really sad because I really really liked the vet and very knowledgeable very caring And the vet that she has now was, um, I've had issues and I've had to call corporate. You know, I let them know my, my thoughts. And once we, it seems like they can't keep vets though, so. We're constantly having different vets all the time. And you don't get the one-on-one -on -one service anymore. It's you drop your pet off and then they call you and you come and pick up your pet. Which I do not like. Even for an office visit. Um, but that was since COVID and now they're just keeping that rule. And they say that they can see more pets that way. Which I would assume so. I mean, if you're not jibber jabbering with the pet parent. especially if you have ones like me, because I jibber-jabber with them um, about every little thing about Ellie. And now, because I don't, I talk to the vet after the fact, and so you have to have all your concerns, write it down so that the vet can go down the list of concerns. I don't like leaving Ellie for hours at a time just to check for an ear infection. She does not like being in their little cages and you know, she she likes to stay with me. But there is no exceptions to the rule. So what do you do? And I've complained to corporate before. <laughs> but apparently from what I have researched, all the vets here are like that. But the thing I like about Ellie's pet plan, she has the basic plan, which includes um, all, it includes all of her office visits, all of her shots, um, and 20% off of additional services. 
and then I have the add-on for dental and that includes teeth cleaning once a year but I wish it included x-rays with the dental cleaning but it doesn't and I've suggested that to corporate to add that in because the x-rays are super expensive they're like $200 for a set of x-rays to me that's highway robbery And then I also have the add-on for her trifexis. And being that we live in the rural part of town and there's a lot of wildlife out here, I just want to protect it from fleas and heartworm and all that that covers. So she's been on that pet plan with them since she was a year old. She's due to go back in October, and that's when she, I don't know if she's due for any shots this year or not, but she gets dewormed twice a year. do her blood work that, and on a pet plan that includes her her um, blood work Ugh, it is cold in here yeah, she gets a complete physical twice Twice a year. Yeah, so. Ooh, you breaking your teeth over there? That didn't sound good. Are you okay? My throat's getting dry. Oh, oh, 
way there's a lot of J's. I'm sure I'll miss some because there's so many of them spread throughout here. And that's okay. As soon as I get my electricity back on, I'm going to work on my other painting, watch some videos. I got one more of Mike's, two of DP Crazy Lady, no, three of DP Crazy Lady because she just posted another one. She's probably started on her room right now. Moving the furniture around and clearing off shelves and all that so she can paint the wall. She's more ambitious than I am. I do not like painting walls, houses, anything. Just, you give me a paintbrush and ugh, that's a disaster waiting to happen. What are we up for time? Oh my gosh, we're at 43 minutes already. Ugh, am I gonna finish these J's? These are the never ending J's. Okay, I got two minutes to finish up the J's. And then our next session, we can work on a different color. I had a ton of J's in this one. They're kind of an off pink. Here, Miss Piggy here. Ah, this thing keeps moving. Gets me farther and farther away. <laughs> She's looking good. You see any more J's up there around? Oh, I'm sure there is, and I'm just missing them. But I think we're done with the J's. So, yeah, she's looking good. Ooh, Wilbur, here's your girlfriend. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm gonna get this uploaded and I will be back later. Thanks for stopping by.